We are going from the Marshall Islands. In March, I was very proud that the Marshall Islands became the third country in the world to ratify the Paris Agreement. The fact that my government was able to ratify the agreement within 50 days of taking office was a big demonstration of our determination to continue to lead the fight from the front. Now we all need to work hard to ensure what we agreed in Paris at the end of last year has the force of law by the end of this year. It is time to get this done. In Paris, we form a high ambition coalition with 100 other countries and fought to secure some of the most ambitious elements of the agreement, which give my country a pathway to survival. But now we need to now turn our words into action. Without action, the Paris Agreement will just be a piece of paper. This means we all need to do more to reduce emissions in light of our new temperature targets. This includes urgently reducing emissions from the aviation and maritime sectors and securing an ambitious amendment to the Montreal Protocol next month. We also need to see finance quickly flow to those who need it most so we can all implement our own ambitious plans to reduce emissions. Without all this, there is no way we will be able to stay within 1.5 degrees. It is clear there is a lot of work still to do, and the High Ambition Coalition will continue to take lead. Finally, I want to say komoltada, or thank you to our UN Secretary General, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, for his visionary and exceptional leadership in doing all that he did to make the Paris Agreement a reality. As a mother and grandmother, I know how important it is to bring people together to ensure we can pass on the future generations the beautiful planet that we all call home.